Welcome back to the Literacy Teachers YouTube channel, where we're all about helping you inspire, motivate, and change how your students read and write for academic success. Today, we are wrapping up our Struggling Readers portrait series with the portrait of Manuel, talking about Lady Gaga is my favorite. So a little bit about Manuel when I first met him. He was 14 years old. He was in the eighth grade and he read on approximately a fifth grade level. Now, Manuel, his reading practices, he, like most every other struggling reader that I've talked about in this series, he was not particularly engaged with reading the school text, right? The things that his teachers wanted him to read, nah, he didn't read them, okay? But he did have some established reading practices. So he was a huge Lady Gaga fan and he read literally any and everything he could find about Lady Gaga. And he openly and freely shared his knowledge with others, sometimes even maybe if they didn't want to, you know, hear that knowledge or cared about Lady Gaga or whatever, right? He was constantly talking about what he knew about Lady Gaga and he could even cite, you know, where that information came from pretty quickly. And he would recommend texts about Lady Gaga to people that showed an interest um, in her. So he's got this well-developed reading practice, but of course it's a very narrow reading practice. And here's a quote from Manuel when I was speaking with him. He said, I love Lady Gaga, I love her so much. I read everything I can about her. I get my mom to buy me all the magazines and anything about her online. I just read, read, read. So this is a kid that's got some skills, right? They may not be academic reading skills, but he definitely has reading skills. He definitely, you know, has a reading practice that he loves and enjoys. Now, Manuel, just like every other struggling reader in this series, he knew that he had academic reading difficulties and he wanted to improve his comprehension. Just like every other student that I've profiled here, he, you know, was interested in learning. He wanted to get better grades, all of that stuff. And he knew that the key to this was to improve his comprehension. And he also wanted to be recognized for his depth of knowledge about Lady Gaga. Like, even though he was a poor, re or, or labeled a poor reader in school, he didn't really see that as being the be all end all of who he was. He knew he had problems with reading in school, but he also knew that he had, you know, this ability to really read and understand a lot of texts about Lady Gaga. And he wanted to be recognized for that. He didn't want to just be pigeonholed as here's this kid that can't read well in school. He wanted to be thought of, and here's also this kid who reads and understands a lot of things about Lady Gaga. Now, he does, he is aware that he read below grade level, that he had these difficulties comprehending, but he also really believed that he could be a better reader with some focused help. And he pointed to his practices of reading these Lady Gaga texts. And, and as I noted before, the fact that he could cite them and tell you what he got where, right? Um, to him, that showed him like he had this potential, but for whatever reason, he was falling short in school. Now he didn't understand what that reason was, like why he was having problems with school. He just knew that he was having them, but he figured his rationale was that given how well he could engage with these texts about Lady Gaga, that he could be a better reader and he could read these texts in school a lot better if he could just get just a certain level of focused help. So what, what's the takeaway here? Um, some struggling readers want to be recognized for what they can do well when it comes to reading, right? They always tend to get pigeonholed as here's what you're bad at, here's what you're no good at, and they get given, they get, you know, exposed to these texts in school that repeatedly show them, hey, you're no good at this, right? Hey, this is hard for you. Um, but there are lots of things, and if you've been watching all the videos in the series, you've seen that all of these kids have things that they can read really well. Um, and that they know, right, things that they've learned from text that they know and understand really well. And they wanna be recognized for that. They don't wanna be um, recognized as just the kid who can't read, 